Hello everyone, Kevin Grigley here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at McAfee Total Security uh, Protection. It is a full, uh, their top of the line product that includes ransomware shields as well. Uh, so whenever we go ahead and get started here with the test, we're going to do two individual tests. One will be for zero day malware, which I believe I have 24 samples. And then one will be for 100 ransomware samples as well. These are well-known ransomware. So we'll put it to the test on both of those and see how it performs. So we'll go ahead and get started here in just a minute. Okay, we are back, and as promised, we will test these two samples. Uh, one is the zero-day malware, and one is the 100-day ransomware. As you can see here, we are secure. All the shields are enabled. I have not disabled anything or adjusted any of the settings. Everything is defaulted. Um, if you're curious to know what the actual protection is, you can go to McAfee's website and look up Total Protection, and it will tell you everything that is available within this platform. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and extract this zero-day zero malware link, or RAR that I have here. We're going to do that first, just to see how its zero-day protection is. And we will see if anything gets blocked automatically after extracting it. And we are still at 24 items, so nothing has been quarantined or uh, removed just yet. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and open up Process Explorer, just so we can see what's going on in the system throughout the test and we will put this on the right side as always and put this on the left side so we have our process explorer up and we have our samples here as you can see here in the bottom left corner 24 items so let's go ahead and start running these as administrator as we do, go down through now through all of them so we can see the first one here um, not showing in memory as of right now there we go it was blocked by McAfee and you can actually click on this tell me more button and it will bring up the McAfee console and give you the information on the virus. So suspect uh, virus blocked and it shows you the path and we will go ahead and hit close report as we know that it was blocked. So we'll go down through and do that to the rest of them here. And the next one, don't see anything happening yet. It was blocked there. Go to the next one here. We'll just keep on continuing down through the list and see if we can't get anything to run. That one was blocked. And this next one here blocked as well. Just keep on going down through. Blocked. Next one here. And these are all a variation of different threats, um, zero-day threats that I have pulled off of numerous sources. So there's not one specific type of threat. And then we'll go to the next one here. Blocked as well. That one was also blocked. And this one here blocked these uh, notifications are a bit delayed so they are not um, exactly real time it's I'm guessing it's scanning the items as we're trying to run them so this one here still has not popped up that it's been blocked there we go it just got blocked you can actually hear a dinging in the background as they get blocked um, the windows sound so it's it's actually going through and removing them and notifying me that they can't run uh, you'll be able to see a glimpse of the pop-up there that just popped up and you can see that these are continuously being blocked which is good for McAfee um, I know McAfee is one of the leading competitors that um, is contracted with all the uh, main companies who develop computers to install their antivirus on their computers um, as they come out of the box. So McAfee is always going to be one of the higher competitors with that. Uh, glad to see that their detection and block rates are also doing pretty well. And we 
We're doing good so far. Still not anything that has gotten through. And you'll notice as these are actually running, it won't let me run another one until that one is done being scanned or uh, analyzed through the uh, McAfee antivirus. So, for example, if I run this one really quick, click yes, and try to click this next one, it won't let me because it's still processing that first item. Um, so that one is also blocked. And this one here, blocked as well. Curious to see what the results will be on the ransomware test as it does have a ransomware shield on it. So we will see that here in just a minute. Um, and you can see that that one was also blocked and removed. So for the zero day, uh, zero day malware there, good job for McAfee. It did block every single item that was thrown at it, which was 24 items. So that is 100% block rate on the zero day malware portion of it. Um, now we will go ahead and extract these ransomware samples here. And once we get these extracted, we'll go ahead and get rid of this folder as we don't need it anymore. And we'll get rid of this folder as well, or this archive as well as we don't need it. So here are the 100 ransomware samples. Um, these are the ones that I've used in my previous test um, that are known ransomware. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and run down through these really quick. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to sit through each one of these one by one. And we will have some music playing in the background, so go ahead and enjoy that, and we will be back here in just a minute. Okay, so after running all those samples, we have a few folders or a few items left in this folder here. Um, just a few. So GP code, ransom racks, those two did not run. The red flower did open. Uh, nothing happened whenever I opened it. And then the win32.solidity.ae, it did run. I could see it running in memory, and um, it doesn't look like anything was terminated from the McAfee side of things. So we're going to go ahead and restart the computer really quick. Once it comes back up, we will go ahead and run a full scan with uh, McAfee Total Protection, see if it finds anything, and we'll be back with those results here in just a second. Okay, and we are back here, and as you can see, there was one item that was removed from McAfee Total Protection. Uh, this was one of the ransomware items that was left in the folder. Um, as you can see, it was in this folder here. Uh, Ransom Rex was the one that we tried to run, but it didn't let us run, so that is removed. Um, now we will go ahead and run a full scan with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro to see if it finds anything. And then we will be back with those results here in just a second. Okay, so we are back with the final results from Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes. As you can see on the right, Malwarebytes did not find any items, zero items detected. So that is good. 
And then on the left side, you can see here the Hitman Pro did find that <clears throat> W32Solidity.ae as malware. The combo fix is a false positive, so that's a malware removal tool, which doesn't matter. <clears throat> and I did go ahead and upload this um, Solidity.ae just to see on virus total. Um, as you can see, there is um, McAfee here that says it's undetected. Uh, and then if you look up above a bit, um, it shows that McAfee GW edition did block this. Um, so it, it definitely did run on the computer. It didn't do anything it doesn't look like, and neither scanner found it, with the exception of Hitman Pro that did find that um, in the file itself. So it didn't find any um, files or anything that it had affected it, but it did find that it is in the folder, of course, still. Uh, so with that being said, everything looks to be safe and sound. Uh, McAfee Total Protection did a very good job at detection and removal. Um, as you <clears throat> could see that it would remove 24 items from the zero day malware links and um, downloads that I had downloaded. And then in addition, the Hunter ransomware files were also very good uh, at removal on that as well. There's only three items left in the folder. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, with that being said, it did a very good job at removing everything but those three items. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you guys are interested in looking at our Discord server, please check it out. It's going to be in the description. And in addition, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It does really help me out, and I appreciate you and your support. And we will see you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching.